This it's, is nice. It's a big rock. I know rocks. How many grams of carrots is that? <laughs> you should do WWE now. They reached out. They were paying her like 20 million. No, I, I know. Like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he got One ripped. Fight. Are you guys dating? No. no. I'm not that blind. You, if you I'm just kidding. Know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, I heard the officiator didn't know Spanish that well. Wampa said the loose translation was, do you be with person for a long time? <laughs> What's that drink? I'm parched. Bro. <laughs> wow, what is this? This is all gonna get cut. Yeah, all of it, bro. Wait, Wait, except for his ching cha No, that, of that's, course that's gonna get that's cut. That's how we're opening. You're telling me this section's gonna get cut? What I'm about to do right now? I think it's all gonna get cut. Even this section right now. Where I wash down these cookies with this delicious yeah, hydration. Of course. Bed. It's of called course. prime hydration. You can't shove it down people's throats. I'm not. Yeah. I'm thirsty. I reached for the best number one selling hydration beverage in the world. Yeah, but I'm getting sick of your plugging. Me too. <laughs> and it's my product. I just want to plug it in your mouth so you shut the f up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Give me another thin bit, huh? Yeah. Okay, anyways, Tana, so how's life, man? How's, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! I know what you guys are thinking, and I, I know what you're thinking. So we'll open here. Okay. We'll do it. Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you, guys. Thank you <laughs> for listening, watching, it. viewing, and subscribing. Layla Pons got married last night. We were at the wedding, and when I say we, I mean me and Tana. George and Mike didn't get invited. So <laughs> <laughs> the next day, today, Layla decided the first thing she should do: come on a podcast, Woo! and she chose ours. She's on her way here right now. She's 10 minutes out. Um, that's not Lele Pons. For those of you unfamiliar. Wampa, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's my only line on the show today. Everything else gets cut. That was a, that was, that was a crazy wedding. You know, I, I, uh, we already said this, but we've removed that section, so I'll say it again. I wasn't sure, and I'll ask Lele this, how much of it was for content and how much of it was wedding. Because yeah. the first thing we had to do when we got there was sign a film release. Well, I personally am just really against weddings for content, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys did that. Yeah, me the, either. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm trauma blocking it out. A content wedding behind a pay-per-view wall. Tan Absolutely. Tana and my brother got married. You single? Um, Sure. Whoa. Today. <laughs> well, I, I only ask because <clears throat> Jake's single. single. Oh, Jake Paul. That's sick. Would you ever consider getting back with him? Um, for content? No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Not for behind content. No. Would you get back with them behind a paywall? Yeah, absolutely. In front of a paywall. I would get back with anyone. Uh, yeah. hold on one second. I want to say something real quick. Shout out to Legacy House Productions for letting us use this space. If you're in Miami, you want to do a podcast, check out the penthouse because it's real nice. So Tana, just as I was saying before, you always have the sunglasses on. Yeah. What's the reasoning? Honestly, today I was projectile vomiting. I think I have like food poisoning. Like, something's going on. And Mike comes in, hey, yo, we have a burger review in eight <laughs> fucking minutes. Yeah. What the fuck? Talking about Pink Floyd and shit, too. Like, That's I'm like, all puking. he talks about. Like, I don't know what's going on. So I, I threw on the glasses. I went and reviewed the burger. I threw up mid burger review. Yeah, oh, that's the first I feel, time. I feel like him, though. It's kind of like the no equity and prime situation. Like, what the fuck did I get out of that? <laughs> like, what, why? Why? Nine <laughs> out of 10. Pay me. Stop, I directed you. I directed you. Directed your commercial. He did do that. You, he did help me with my. You got it. Which is so fucking. No offense to the people. Seriously, please sponsor me again. But like, I have a ninety-six percent female audience. Like, no, because they go and tell their limp dick boyfriends to buy it. <laughs> Honestly, you know what I'm saying. You have that a ninety-six percent on TikTok, pretty much. Like, fucking something like that. Yeah, that's you're, the exact opposite of me. You're a trooper for sticking through that content with Mike. Mike yeah. And Mike only talks about three things. Burgers. Yeah. Bitches. Sicario, oh, I love that movie. I love Pink <laughs> and, and occasionally, bitches. I would never <laughs> use that term. Charged. Just like Drake, I would never use that term. I think today I you verbatim told me to shut up, bitch. Yeah, I would never. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. No, it's right here. Hold on. This is my favorite thing in the world. Whenever Dana was talking today. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite clip ever, dude. And uh, when I was at Lele's wedding, so I'm super antisocial. Mm. I did I did get immense joy when I saw you sitting next to Jeff W. You, you guys were kind of like my my like rock. Yeah. I felt like I feel like we like to like sit in the corner and kind of talk shit and giggle, and that's what we did. So much talking shit. We were we were giggling. We were so silly. Giggling, talking shit. And then you were like pining Hannah stalking for marijuana. No, that wasn't me. Oh, I guess it was me. <laughs> 
but on behalf of my girlfriend. Which sounds like six years ago. <laughs> Jeff, Why? like just Hannah stuff, like just that whole. It was like a high school reunion at Lele's wedding. That's what it fucking felt like. Yeah. I don't want to have this conversation. I'm just gonna have it with Lele when she gets here. Wampa, no, <laughs> I am Lele. <laughs> Yo, Kai, nice. what's that thing called again? Is he here? What's the vine vine boom? Is that what it's called? Hey, are you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little tired, bro. I'm trying to, you know, do something over here. I'm working on something. I'd love to. I would love if you'd come say a few words. It would mean a lot to me, dude. Jeff, Jeff's coming in. American Jeff, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff W. Jeff the Tech, the barber. Jeff's barber shop. Jeff's barber shop. I just. I, Welcome back to Jeff's barber shop. Which one should I talk to? Do you have a mic? Oh, Dude, what nice. I, what just happened was happening there is like, if we had a sleepover and one of my favorite friends was just outside the window watching us, like, not, like playing <laughs> bro, I'm just tired, man. Did I, you just throw up? I <laughs> threw up the burger. Oh, you can you smell it. <laughs> you can smell it. It's hot. Do I smell like throw up? Yeah, it's hot. No, I don't. <laughs> you no, did. I don't. Are you guys dating? No, no absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's Have you guys business. ever? It's all for money. Never so hooked up. Money. Never hooked up. No, bro. No. Are you nuts? Ever make out nothing? Are you nothing? sick in the head? No. I'm not that blind. You, if you I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Like he's literally. I don't, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, that was not. I, I don't want to disrespect oh women. God. I want to come right on here. This is a nice, wholesome wedding episode. Yeah. George and I did a prayer the other day. Well, no, we didn't. We were gonna. We planned on it. And no. then I said, you want to read Proverbs? And he goes, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a problem reading. I, I, seriously, <laughs> I, I, I seriously have a problem. I, I cannot like read well uh, no I, no i just you, you don't like to read i can't read no you just read backwards okay. isn't that what it is no he's the letters switch they switch which, which is yeah he's dyslexic yeah, he's very dyslexic. dyslexic you want to do a prayer and take a little moment <laughs> to do a prayer while we wait for lately I don't know. I don't know. I used to go to church all the time, bro. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us and deliver us from this. Where I get fuzzy. Evil. Evil. Deliver us from evil. Yo, uncanceled, bro. Our Father once a day. Are we going to finish it? And forgive us our and sins. For, and, and forgive us our sins. We forgive those. As we forgive those who, who trespass sin against, who trespass who against, against us. against us or trespass, sure. Just so you well, guys we, know, well, just, just to no, make no, sure. No, no, trespass No, bro, he's forgiven. That's how, that's how it works. Stop, he's drop, forgiven. and roll does not work in hell. So I just wanted to let you guys know about this. <laughs> hey, <laughs> especially you. I know you did past life. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. Every person that was at Lele's <laughs> wedding yesterday will reunite in hell. <laughs> oh, the Vine what gang. About, what, about An, what about Anwar? He'll, he's going to be leading Bro, the pack. He was, he he's was, wild. He was smoked last yeah, night. Yeah, he was wild. I saw him after, after the wedding. He was like... Not doing very well, bro. Yeah. We were watching the fights. Oh, the fights. Oh, by the time <laughs> this episode comes out, that'll be 10 years. Old oh, news. Johnny Bones Jones. 20 seconds. Unbelievable. <laughs> Two minutes. Two he's minutes the and 20 seconds. He's the GOAT. Yeah, he's really incredible. Man, well, I, thought Lele, I thought Lele was marrying Tuan. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck was all the point of all those vines over the years? <laughs> yeah, you're you so know? right. I thought it was like was a six Twan at the wedding. Build. Yeah, he was the best man. Yeah, he was. The, he was Guina's best man, which was interesting as well. Yeah, I, I, he might be coming on the podcast. I'm not sure. I did not ask Lele. By the way, this I'm not that fucked up to ask, well anymore <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to ask Lele to do a podcast after the day after her wedding. Uh, she texted me. She said, "Are you interviewing me in Guina?" And I was like, "This." This is a great opportunity. Yeah, like, do why do you want to come on the po you want to come on a podcast the day after your wedding? Sure, that is some real clout shit, dude. That's like that's that's actually. Insane. I don't know if she needs any more clout. No, I don't mean it like that. I just mean like, dude, this would be the la like <laughs> the last place I would want to be after my wedding. I'm I'm exhausted. I'm brain dead, and I didn't have to enter like a wedding. You have to entertain every guest there. You have to go around. And it was her around, wedding. Take it's a picture with everybody. Yeah. It's sorry. Wait. She wants also, to come she on got here. married in Miami. She lives She's here. She's from here. Yeah, but it seems like a place to get divorced. That's true. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. it doesn't seem like a place to get married. 100%. By the time this episode comes out. <laughs> <laughs> No, She's gonna like, watch. Is this gonna be in before? So she goes to watch her episode and just sees her wedding get trashed for the first time. <laughs> no, no, we're not trashing. It was a, it was a, it was held in a very beautiful setting. Tuan's best man speech. What do you give it at? Rating out of ten. I'll be honest, I was I was gone. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I left. Logan, Logan watched you the You left before this. We're gonna we're gonna get into it. 
he uh i mean it was it was some stand up it was set up punchline set up punchline was cadence good? was a little off and i don't know i don't you got any on updates on anything are you are you, are you, are you, are you, are you suing one. anyone do you have have you don't gotten chlamydia fucking, like talk I, about something <laughs> fucking relevant for the next couple minutes before we talk about weddings for I'm the next 10 him years he gave me chlamydia. <laughs> oh, that's good. that'll do well any updates in your guys i love you guys i get to the opportunity to spend so much time with you since my friend left and went to the island do you have anything you want to say on the on the program? Um. <laughs> is this uncomfortable? Because I'm like just listening to it as just like a viewer, and this is just like an uncomfortable podcast. Well, now that you said it, it is, George. Well, I'm just I'm just saying it because so that way I could just you know I'll, I'll go fuck myself, George. Right here, it's been a long. We everyone's tired. We're doing the best we can to deliver content for the audience. You guys talk about those Chinese spy balloons. We didn't really cover them as much as we should have. <laughs> Those are the type of topics that really get my my dick hard. Oh, like, yeah. that was wild. <laughs> Blown right off course into Montana, right over the nuclear facility. What a yeah. strange misdirection. Who cares? It's like turning. <laughs> it's like turning right on the way to Fort Lauderdale. And oh, you're gonna, up in you're gonna care when those Chinese balloons are over Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I Sorry, won't. went off track. <laughs> Ended up over your house in Puerto Rico. I don't care. Spying on Quinn the dog. Yeah, who cares? You're going to see Quinn pacing the property, chasing a ball. Hey. Fucking chasing his tail, eating leaves. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> it sends it right back to... You guys uh, look like Bonnie and Clyde. In a, in don't, a weird, don't just yeah, put those things in a, out in a weird, in a weird We're like brother and sister. sister. No. Like it's cousins. like a... Yeah, it's like... In what? Alabama. So, uh, get it? Uh, no, don't get it. Are you putting something out? Yeah, I could, you could do a reach around. <laughs> uh, Logan, what have you been up to? You've been training again? It's just training. Just yeah. Training. Got WrestleMania. Got WrestleMania. Seth Rollins, WrestleMania. Come what do you think about okay. that? Yeah, gonna, gonna take him down to the ground. Down take gonna, take ground. him down to the ground, take him to Pound Town. <laughs> You got any plans? Can you leak anything out? Get or fucking, you got... fucking get a frog splash in there. Yeah, okay. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I wanted to take know. Take him down, get a frog splash, down to the ground. All right. Spring has sprung, and our friends at Manscaped have the best tools for some spring cleaning. They've already helped you tidy up all the nooks and crannies of your body's basement. But this year, Manscaped can help you get the perfect presentation on that beautiful face with the new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Make sure you look your best this spring by using the code LOGAN to get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Shout out to Manscaped for the support. Our audience is thrilled with the products, and we have another for you to tame your mane. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It's right here. The sun is shining again, and it's time to show off your scruff or fresh beard. The kit starts off with the Beard Hedger, a waterproof cordless trimmer with a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard, so no more messy drawers full of add-ons. Hate that. The cordless beard hedger comes with the liquid goods to make you feel good. Starting with the beard shampoo and conditioner, you can't treat your beard like you treat your pubes. You got to go next level. The Pro Kit also has Manscaped's beard oil and beard balm for a successful finish. Plus, get three free gifts, a beard brush, comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. Save 20% off and free shipping with the code Logan at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code Logan at Manscaped.com. Focus on the face and use the Beard Hedger Pro Kit for the cleanest look in the game. Back to the show. Who do you think uh, Jake's? Who who's Jake? Shut up! Just <laughs> shut up! Who's Jake? Who's, who's Jake? Jake? And no, I've go ahead. Answer. Who's that. Jake? Who's and Jake? I've always fucking said that. No, who I the answer. fuck is Jake? I don't know really. I know Logan. He's you you know Jake. You know Jake better than me. Yeah. I'm, I feel like I feel like to you, I'm an enigma. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> You're a good source for like tea, you know? Ooh, what? Or if I need to like, if I needed to like manipulate your brother, I could come like tell you some shit and hope it like trickles down the. the you think it trickles down from Jake to Logan? Is that. From Logan to Jake, maybe. I feel like you're pretty conniving. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a little conniving. Is that a bad word? Is that a negative connotation? Depends on how you take yeah, it. Yeah, I don't you know. know. I don't know. I'm not saying it negative. I think I'm just the right amount of conniving. Yeah, not always. Yeah, no, not it's always. Good. It's good. I, I love it. My, Mike's conniving as well. No, like, I have pretty genuine intentions, but occasionally, you know. <laughs> he goes no manipulative. Well, that's what he would always call Yeah, him, Mike is manipulative big time. Super manipulative. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he knows because he, but all, I use it for good mostly, but he, Me. he tried to, uh, he tries to like. He knows as soon as it starts. You're manipulating right now. <laughs> as as I, I know what you're doing. As we speak, are you are you gaslighting me? Oh, you're gaslighting. Oh, are you gaslighting me? Right you're now? gaslighting. 
We need to touch my dick, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Right. Whoa, bro. It's against Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so safe behind glasses, bro. You can't That's why I do it. Really? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm a little bit more confident back here, bro. Well, they call them blockers. Fuck you. I'm talking, bro. Anyway, so Sorry, I feel bro. a little bit more confident with these glasses on. <laughs> Tanya, are you still tipping paparazzi off where you're going to go? Absolutely, all the fucking time. Are you kidding me? Th that actually reminds me. South Beach, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Wait, you tip paparazzi? Oh, my God. It's like ordering a pizza, bro. It's like you just fucking, oh, my God. You look good. You're doing some shit. You want to, absolutely. Everyone does, though. That's the fucking thing, okay? Everyone does. She's I'm just so honest. Anymore. She's I'm just good. so honest, you know? Okay, maybe you don't, but like. Girls. Girls, LA. Guys, too, though. Like. You know what I mean? I would say like... Uh, it's not true. I've done it. I've done it. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. I would say like 30%. Actually, I've done, I've done it with you, <laughs> ironically. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> was it lunch or something like that? I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah. Fake, I fake took Dana, Tana on a date for uh, for content. Yeah. We are just dirty little social media Absolutely. sluts, huh? Absolutely. Not anymore. You're not anymore. Yeah. When you walked up today, dude, I told them when you went up the elevator before, you always like... You look like a businessman all the time now. You have like a, you always have like a laptop. You should get a briefcase. If you had a bro, if you had a briefcase, dude, people would take you a lot more seriously in the business world. Like you walked up today and just gave the most demeaning like introduction to everybody. You're like, hey, how's everybody here doing? Uh, you don't give a fuck about any of us, dude. Like, let's be honest, you're a fucking conglomerate. You're Johnson and Johnson. Dude. You're fucking Johnson and Johnson. Dude. It's because I, I got I got my priorities in line, and you guys aren't on the list. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. You're real for that. You're real for that. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just kidding. George and Mike are. Oh, damn. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I barely made the cut. Don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I just, I have, a, I have a, like a wife now. Like, th you know, things change. Things change when you're in love. Speaking of wife, where the fuck is Layla? Yeah, man? that's true. You get, where, who's Pete Davidson dating? Some beautiful is girl that, that somebody just lost. I don't know. He dates everybody's like Lele. brand he's, new ex. He's a Lele now. Pete Davidson's <laughs> nailing Lele. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. So, so George, new podcast? Lele, Lele, yeah, so. we're, when are we starting that? So talk to me Talk to me about your new podcast. Did you start it out of spite? Uh, no, they were kept, they kept <laughs> trying to get rid of me. So I was like, I got to fucking get like some type of something, like a little island where I can How many there. times do I have to tell you to stop grouping me? In when you get in fights with him about Christ <laughs> or whatever you guys fight about, stop grouping me in. Wait, I'm what? a bystander. <laughs> don't well, group, don't side, group me in. Don't you, group me in. You side anything he says. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Hey, oh yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I want to have a quick. No, I want to have a, no. a quick word right now. If you run back any episode of this podcast, because yeah, you do it, shut the views, your bro. mouth. Hey, guys, so, as soon as he leaves the podcast, he goes, "I'm gonna look so good towards the audience." It's like, bro, you have a motive. Yeah, you he comes over to Jeff FM and he says that. And he's like, man, I fucking killed it today. George sucked. <laughs> Dude, I can't don't trust any of you guys. You're all ops. I just Yo, want everybody to know. Mike except for you, Logan. <laughs> yeah, big time. Big time manipulator. At least Logan's a scumbag and he shit. doesn't pretend that he's not a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at least you're honest. Don't, 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 hey, remember don't. that time when you guys, uh, when you mushed that kid's face <laughs> and then Mike came over and did it after you? you also I mushed. don't remember. I literally don't remember. Pull the clip. <laughs> you're going to well, have yeah, to pull the clip. Yeah, what are you talking remember. about? I don't think Outside that ever happened. Outside of that club. No, that wasn't I don't us. think that was, that was don't, uh, don't group me in with myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen. Something the audience needs to know about George. Well, also, uh, also, Logan did congratulate me. Are you me out of your I'm backing him up. He, he was the first person to hit me up and congratulate me about my podcast. No, but no. you know he was like shaking in his boots when he did no, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why'd you laugh like that? Because what am I shaking about? That hurt my feelings. What do you mean? Are my friends gonna grow on a podcast? Grow a platform? This is great. Shaking Wish you would grow a little height wise. <laughs> oh shit. You couldn't even grow a hairline. You had to go to fucking Turkey, bro. You nice. already used that one six times. Nice. Not on this episode. Yeah, that's true. You get you, 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 See, he knows to just reuse that different formats. And no one will ever catch that he's reusing. Once on Mike's vlog, once on his podcast, once on our podcast. We do a lot of content. Once personally. You're such a workhorse, Logan. <laughs> bro, did you guys see that cartoon? Dude, Absolute everybody saw me kid it, bro. Oh, my and by the way, oh, And by the way, just God, so you know, so funny. it's an honor. To be animated by Meat Cannon. Two uh, out of the three people on this podcast made it to that Meat Cannon. You're such a workhorse, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's like being in an app. That's like the YouTube version of being in Hold Rick on a Morty. second. I, I do have to know when you start laughing like Dracula. 
Look at that. You know what I like is that their jokes are getting weaker together now. I, if I stay here for five years, whatever they get to me by time, I, I'll, I'll be phased. Yeah, right. Whatever George just said, uh, we're finally becoming George. Guess what? Next episode, three Georges. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time we. Dude, this is silly, bro. Maybe we should take off, huh? Yeah, yeah thank you guys. Appreciate it. Here. Honestly, thanks, guys. thanks for coming on. Lele's, Lele's coming up. Yeah. Guapa. <laughs> Guana. Lele, Guana. Congratulations. You guys are newlyweds Yay! as of yesterday. I can't believe you came to our podcast first. Is this the honeymoon? This is the honeymoon. We just yeah. woke up and went here. You guys are insane. Can you tell I haven't took, I haven't taken off my makeup or my hairstyle? Yeah, you guys look great still, <laughs> dude. We, and we haven't. He met. still has the shoes on. I see what this <laughs> wedding. <laughs> still has the wedding shoes on. Do we have? Do we have a mic for him? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have the same shoes. It's, it was a long night. How long? How long were you guys out? Until two in the morning. That's not long. That is, that's no. when she, I go to no, dinner. No, but we. Like, no, I know. But the thing is that we woke up at eight, like oh, yeah, it's eight. Oh, a long day. Eight, sorry, eight to do some stuff. So that's what from eight to two. It's like. And this wasn't like a normal wedding either. I should state when you guys just walked in right before you sat down, the first thing you said wasn't like, we're married. Like, what a great day. You said, the wedding's trending on Twitter. <laughs> like, that was the first thing you said. Yeah. Yo, the, guys, no. the wedding's trending on like, Twitter. I couldn't believe it. Like, I could not believe it because I was literally, I swear I wasn't on my phone. Like, in my wedding, I wasn't on my phone. And then I, I come back at nighttime here and this morning and I was like, it's trending on Twitter? Holy shit. Like, it's a big deal. You guys are both stars. And and you, you've come together as one giant star. Thank you. I had, <laughs> I had so much fun. I mean, I was literally the whole time dancing like with, with Gwina and everything. I had people to post for me, but I was like gone. I was just present with, I saw you for a second. Uh, yeah. I saw you like really far. And then I, I, re I remember I was like, oh, I got to say hello to Logan. I haven't met him. And then. Where's Logan? I know. Yeah, man, where'd you, where'd I you know, go? I, I know. Yeah, I was. I didn't make it the it whole It was night. a lot of famous people in the wedding. It was crazy I shit. Did, I, I, always, I don't want to take you guys away from what you're doing. And, and we hadn't met. So, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm also antisocial. And like, Why really antisocial. <laughs> Severe, no, severely see, antisocial. Did you see that when we stopped dancing? When, no. I, when, when we stopped dancing, He's, I went straight to you. I know. And I appreciated that. And Nina did, too. My, my girlfriend. Um, I don't know why. I think, ironically, me being in a relationship has made me more antisocial, and I realized it because at the event yesterday, I was just so clammed up. I had a, I had a hard time like talking to anyone, even people okay. I knew. Yeah, it was like a high school reunion. It's okay. I completely understand. <laughs> Guana, we just met, but Layla, I have to say, like watching you walk down the aisle, the grass aisle, <laughs> <laughs> like having known you for so many years, right? Like eight years almost of friendship. And we've yeah. come so far as like baby creators on Vine, wow. six second videos to you. You're a real woman with a husband. I know. I'm, I'm very proud of you. Like I am envious and uh, it, it's very inspiring because I don't know, I guess there's hope that there is really happiness and love out there for all of us. Right? Yeah. Except Mike. Well, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, I love you so much. You had to be there because I grew up with you. Yeah. Like, I mean, not with, like, yeah, with you. Almost pretty much. Like In our adult, in our adult years, yes. Yes, I Neighbors. knew you when I was, my God, 17. Yeah. 17 years old. Yep. Like, we yep. were in my, I was in my teens when I met you. So it, it meant a lot to me to be there with you and for you to be there with me and, and to meet Guayna because I always talk about you. I was like, oh my God, I remember that. I always wanted to be like like him and doing all these stunts. The stunts. And, it, and it was like Logan Paul and Lily Pons do all these stunts. The, the physical viners. The, yeah, yeah you're crazy. Viner. You should do WWE now. Fuck it, come okay, be my you know tag they, partner. they reached out to me? I, it doesn't surprise I'm me. I'm not kidding. They reached out like to, to Johnny. <laughs> You'd and they, be like, so good. And they were like, she has to do it. And I was like, I, 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 if anything happens in my career, like there's a scandal or something, I'm just going to go that route. You you're know? being her. Like this is just, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, yeah. That's why I, I, I got it from you. He's like, fuck. I'm, I'm going to follow WWE your now. steps. Oh, <laughs> they, were paying her, they were paying her like 20 million. And no, I, was I, know, like, I know, I know, I know. I was, was like, baby, listen, why you don't do that? No. <laughs> 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 
got one fight. I'm like, the, thing, the, thing, the, thing, the thing, the thing is like, I just, you know what it is? It just takes a lot of energy. How, how do you deal with that? Yeah, you know? I'll you do anything changing, for 20 million, yo. I know, <laughs> I know, but it's honestly He's not. He's getting 20K. A, no, no, you're, oh my. <laughs> no, you know what? For me, sometimes it's really like, they can offer me 20 million. It's not about the money. I swear. It really isn't. We fight a lot about this. It's because like, as like mentally, I want to be really prepared because you have to be mentally prepared. prepared. You, you should. You should like not give a fuck what other people are saying because it's a it's a lot of confrontation, oh, you know. Lot, yeah. And I suck at confrontation. Like if you tell me something, I'm just like, you're right. What, <laughs> like, <laughs> why do you why do you fight about it, Guana? Are you are you you're trying to chase the bag, huh? Yes. No, no, no. I'm I'm always looking for the side of the of a business yes. mm. and creativity. I like I can split my brain. Lele is more from the creativity Creative, part. She yeah. she she do things because she loves to do it. She loves to create. She mm. loves to plan skits. She loves to film. She loves to be. Uh, mental health advocate, and, yeah. and and she loves to do the things, but 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 in and the business side, um, she's just not not into it. And I I'm see. always like, how long have you, how long have you been in like the space of like creating uh, for like you, five years? Okay, so five she, years? I mean, you've been creating for how long now? Yeah, but like I create, I create more music. No, 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 I know yeah, that. Yeah. No, I, I know, skits. I know that. But I, I, the, what I, what I was gonna say is, a lot of times <clears throat> people go through uh, this like trajectory of what they care about and prioritize based on their, their timeline. Mm -hmm. And you watch a lot of people that first get into the space, they're prior to, prior to prioritizing views or yeah. listens or streams. Mm -hmm. Then they start to prioritize money. And if they have the luxury or the blessing mm -hmm. of being successful enough to be in the space for 10 years, eventually they start doing what they love to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what actually leads you in all of your pursuits. And so if you don't wanna curb stomp people <laughs> in the middle of a ring because it doesn't speak to you, then you won't do it. I, I, yes I mean dude, the thing is like me and Logan I feel like we started because we liked what we were doing it wasn't a thing right. it wasn't a thing to be a social media actually it was actually uncool like super oh, uncool, un super uncool. Yeah. When it, was, there, it was there wasn't even a name Layla right. had her school outfits for like the majority of everybody in my school was like oh she's so every like like what is she doing she's not gonna like I was go anywhere I was watching a couple of video of you guys and if you do the half of what you did in those times you were canceled like oh in a day, my like god this. today everybody's super sensitive <laughs> no no you can't do anything today yeah i saw white chicks the other day and i was like no oh my god dude, that's a that's a risky so movie canceled. i wanted to ask you on the on the content creation side too as like a creator first you know personality who's always thinking about the business both of you guys you know what can we cre what can create what can we create what can we make out of this how can we bring in viewership or or streams or clicks to website whatever how did you balance the desire to document yesterday versus actually really living in the moment and soaking it in? So I gave my phone to this guy named 2K and I gave him my phone. Sometimes I had my phone, sometimes I didn't just in case somebody was calling me that, you know, some people came late. But I told him, have my phone and then I'll see all the content later. That's it. Take pictures. But I was mostly like, I was, did you not see how I said hi to everybody? Yeah, it was impressive. Like, I literally went out to every, I tried, every single person had a conversation with them. I had to. It's just... I wanted to be super present because that's the only time I'm going to get married, hopefully. So, what about you, baby? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, for 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 uh, for our side, it was it was very important the fact that we have a lot of friends that are <clears throat> that got married before us, so they were basically teaching us or giving us tips to how to do and how to react at the situation or the fact that we have a lot of families that are going to be pulling us to the sides uh. separately. And they were like, yo guys, listen, what you have to do is get stick to each other and don't move. And if one goes away for five or 10 minutes to talk with their family, then you try to find out uh, your, your couple and stay with them. And, and that works a lot with us because, I mean, we, we had a lot of, of, of people that we loved yesterday. The yeah, most sure. lovable persons there, there, in our there lives of people there. were there. Yeah, it, I feel like I can die tomorrow and I'll be happy because no, I see- No, but later would it yeah, though. don't do that. <laughs> you, know what, so, you know what I did? I was like, okay. I'm going to say hi to the one person that I know is going to leave early. I went straight to you. Ah, <laughs> shit. I'm I sorry. Did, I know. It's a truth that I know. I would be, uh, me and you are the same. We're like socially awkward sometimes. Like, I we, just, we, don't, we don't like that stuff. I we was like running it. out of energy. I was on I, fumes. I, I, just, I, I told my I wedding planner. I was like, when is this? it it's over? Insane. Like, No way, really? I want to go and sleep with, with Gwyn. I want to have a moment with him. Thanks for understanding. Yes. No, I, I, understand. I was, I was, I, I did, I did like five hours and I felt good. I saw the important parts and that, that was good for me. It's just, uh. Yeah, I, I say this a lot, like your energy is your currency. And I felt like I gave it all. I gave it my all and I was just becoming like a like a little Debbie Downer. I no, just, it's okay. I you needed, had your I girlfriend. Some, you had your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. How I said hi to you. How much did you guys uh, 
exact to a dollar amount spent on the wedding. Oh my God. <laughs> Realistically? Did you have any sponsors, by the yes, way? Yes, we did. Like- so the wedding would have, would have, would have. <laughs> The wedding would have cost like 600K. Holy shit. Would have. That's like half a WWE or, paycheck. I know, I know. No, it would have. It would have. And I said, no, I don't, I don't want that. So right, the wedding at the end of it all with, you know, like, you know, with a trade and everything was about like 300K. No, it was like four, four. No, baby. No, no. Because it was. Is this the first fight? This is the first fight. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so the thing is, like, no, no. It was. Yeah, the thing is, are we still having a honeymoon and a couple of things? Yeah, but the the honeymoon is for free. That's why. Where are you going? Where are you going? Dubai. Sponsored by the Dubai. Yeah, sponsored by Shiraz. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Shiraz. Incredible. Oh, wow. Cool. Cool Dubai. What are you going to do? Burj Khalifa, top floor? I have no idea. I just, she's the boss. I got something. I just want to be happy. I, remember, okay. <laughs> happy wife, so, happy life, dude. <laughs> so, so, Kwampa sent me, uh, he knows the prince of Dubai somehow. Oh, yeah. Which one? I don't know Rashid? which one. <laughs> Whichever money, you know. Money kicks. Money kicks. <laughs> When he like put me in contact with the assistant, so they did the itinerary, and then other people. Have you me. have you been before? One time, a oh, long time. Ago. Oh, cool. Have Have you been? No, no, no I mean it's awesome. Oh. It's a cool place. You, this is crazy. You guys really are like a powerhouse couple. Like, there's a reason it's trending on Twitter. Lately, you're this massive social media star slash a multi hyphenate of a bunch of other different stuff. Guana, you're this music superstar from Puerto Rico. I I learned recently from Guaynabo. Yeah, if that's why it's Guina. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You got, I, you got to tell me a little bit about like yourself. You're, I heard you're an overnight success. Yeah, well, basically, my name is coming off this prototype of person. When, when you when you live in Guaynabo, the Puerto Rican people have the idea of a, you're a rich person or you're the mm. son of a rich guy. And I always dress like this without chains, without watches, but uh. I was a rapper. And people were, was like, listen, you're not a rapper. You're a Guaynabito. You're like a, the rich boy. He yeah. looks like a rich boy. And it yeah. starts like a joke. Like the they were making not, fun not, of him. No, not offensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but you also don't, you don't appear no. No, 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 like no, no, a rapper no, at no, first, no, no, at first no. glance. You hear 100% him and you see him, you're like, Pierre. Where's that, where's, that, where's that guy coming from? That's, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, it started like a joke. Like they were making fun of me and I took it. And, and it's a prototype of a Puerto Rican uh population so they feel related they identify with it and i think that is such a dope name and so i cool. like it yeah, yeah. it's sick Dude, and it's... I, I make fun of it a lot really yeah There's so <laughs> many talented artists in puerto rico I know. like who bad bunny <laughs> lune luna is incredible He's a daddy yankee top daddy, daddy yankee, yankee. Yep. yeah no, no i think i'm very proud of you baby Thank you. I'm very uh, proud of you. Uh, I swear. I was looking at him yesterday and I was just like walking down the aisle and I was like, my God, this is the guy that I've, you know, maybe I, I was, I've never like, like thought I was going to marry Guayna, but like I definitely wanted to marry someone that was going to accept me for who I am because mm-hmm. it's hard. We're hard. We're very complicated. I like, wanted to ask you about that because I, I know Lele and the internet has gotten some glimpses of Lele, Secret Life of Lele Pons. And, and, and uh, you know, like you said, Lele, you're complicated. You're very complex human. Mm-hmm. How Not has easy. that how has that been, um, you know, just being with someone who is as complex as Lele? I mean, it's definitely not easy, but um, it's a it's a special way of love. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said yesterday in the speech, if, if I will ask myself, like when I was in high school, I never, never thought about this, the, the, the way that I'm loving a person. Uh, uh, my my spouse, the the woman of my life, because it's it's about compassion, it's about understanding, it's about trying to have more filters than than uh, in a regular situation. Mm. You know, sometimes mm. um, you women's per se they, they are not basic; they are very complex, more than us. You know, we are yeah, very so. basic. I think so. I think um, you just so, give us some food so, and let us rest, take a nap. We'll, we'll be alright. Yeah, half sex and you're simple. okay. You're yeah, good yeah, to yeah, go. We're fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Kick us but, off. Um, but in women's um, scenarios, um, in Lele scenarios, more complex even than than regular women's. Because ah. what's up, Bobby? Because you have to understand where that action is coming from. Mm. You know, before What's you the intent be, yeah, why? Before why? you jump back, mm. or before you take a decision, or before you say something. And it's uh and it's uh it was a, such a very hard process but at the end of the day I realized that that she really had a, a pure love for for me and that she really was decided to to be with me and she fought for me very 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 hard see every single day he 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 literally <coughs> when we when we met when we met he 
liked me a lot and I didn't. And I uh, and he w- he did a lot for me. He was like trying to like be cute and nice and adorable. And I was just like, I don't, you know, I don't like that. I don't like that. I want a hard to get guy, right? And then he literally one day he was just like, I can't do this anymore. And he left because I had rejected him so much. But he told me and he was just like, I just need to see that you really want to be with me. Mm. He said, I want to see that. And then I was like, okay, I do. I really do. And then months later, like we did set the nota, we did other things. But it's something like, you know, why not someone that I definitely and I want to say the, the truth. I mean, he was never in my plan. Like, you know, like I, he was never even like the type of man that I was going to find. Like, you know, remember the, the boyfriends that I would have? Oh, my God. They were just like models and in, in Instagram models, you know? Mm, mm. Fuck boy. Island. Exactly. Those. those <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, you know, which one the tan the tall. And they're, I was, they're all on Love Island. And now. this is why I love Guayna, because he's not those guys. Gwen is not those guys. I love him for him. Mm. I'm physically attracted to him like crazy, but mm. it's not about that. Like if Gwen one day becomes old, I love him mm. more and more every day because I'm not, it's not about being physical There's or my type. There's a chance. There's a chance he becomes old. You know what I mean? I actually love him for who he is and what he stands for, the communication that we have. He, I admire him. You have to admire the person that you're with. I, wa- and, yeah, sure. I, wanna, I wanna ask like a kind of a tactical question for the people in the audience that are watching this. You, you, uh, Lele, you've talked a lot about uh, mental health, your struggles mm-hmm. with mental health in the past. I, I don't know if you had any experience in, in your life with your family or friends or anything like that, but going into the relationship and as you started to spend time with her, what is some advice that you can give to people watching this on some learning lessons and some tactics you use to support someone in your life that suffers with a with some sort of um, you know mental illness or, or you know issue in that space? I mean, basically, um, if 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 you're with uh, if you have a familiar, and in this case is is my 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 wife. If you have a brother, a daughter, or whatever, with a mental health issue, mental health situation, best thing best best thing that you can do is is make a team. You know, talk with professionals and figure it out um, what what she have or what he have, and how you can work on it. Um, in this situation. In my situation with Lele, um, she she takes sessions. She she go to the ranch. Uh, it's a therapy place. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's a therapy place. And the family, me including me, on it, uh, we are very compromised on it, and we are very we are very uh, involved in the process. Mm. For me, as a learning process, it was hard because what I was telling you, I have to develop those filters. Mm. For an example, if you're crossing a street in Mexico or Costa Rica and a car is about to run over you, you're not gonna fight back like, what the fuck are you doing? You're gonna kill me because you're not in the States. Maybe mm-hmm. they're gonna kill you and who's gonna know mm-hmm. that why now or Logan Paul died in, a, in another <laughs> country. The first filter is have to be, I'm in another country, yep. I have to keep walking. Yep, yep. You know, so same thing with uh, with Lily and, and and for a person for that is very close for, for another one with a mental health issue, you have to develop certain filters that are gonna help the process and it's gonna help their person at the end of the day. Um, and I think that, that that that's the most important thing, you know, study around, um, get a lot of information and, and use it to help now. With yeah. What I have. Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the day, we both of us are healing in this relationship. Healing. Um, and, and I think that that's uh, one of the most important thing uh, since when we got along to each other, when we got together, we, we, we changed for a better. And, and that's what makes us happy. And happy that's, here. Dude, this is, this is like, I obviously haven't seen you guys or spent time with you guys together. I wasn't invited to the wedding, but um, uh, the, the way you can. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. No, I want to, sorry, honestly, I'm, that was a joke. No, I, no, I, I, dude, I knew no, you, you were here. No, you can't just invite <laughs> every, no, we haven't talked in, since. I, Why I, would I, you invite Mike? You don't correct, even know him. Correct, correct. You don't know I, Mike. That was, a, that was a joke. And I was going to say something important, so I shouldn't even have said the joke, but <laughs> I, I, I was. But uh, I want to say it's just so, it's so evident that you guys have what you have because of the level of work it's very sweet that you are willing to put into each other to better each other and better the relationship as well i mean it's I, i've been with you for 15 minutes now and it's it's so evident and i guess the question i would have is how have you guys been able to balance the workload of having such extremely successful individual careers mm-hmm. while also building this beautiful you know romance friendship and relationship we um we sometimes um 
there's two ways. There's two things we do. We have dates every every week. You know, the other day I I I what did I do? <laughs> what did I do the other day? The, the, the thing on the beach. Yes. I was supposed to say that. No, no, okay, so I made a <laughs> I made a, I made a picnic in the beach for him, like a very romantic picnic. He came it's like, you know, a date. Sometimes I do other things. Sometimes he does other things really beautiful. It's just like keeping, like acting. Wait, what happened on the beach? No, I can't say it. <laughs> She's like, no. it's illegal. <laughs> we can say it. You let, so let up a firework? Basically, basically, like I feel like, you know, I, I saw this on Instagram, but somebody says like, you know, when you're supposed to get married, people say that you're settling in. And I think that's when you start to like, you have to continue really hard. You know, mm. like it doesn't mean you like settle in. It means like you continue doing dates. You, you continue to make the other p person fall in love with you. Mm. It's a journey, it's it's marriage, you know? It's not just now, oh my God, I got married. It's what comes after. That's one thing, and then we're doing an album together to actually be able to tour together. So See, that's awesome. That's cool. Like, if you can combine. Yes. The you, yeah. you just dropped the song together, correct? Like we today? dropped the song we together. Just we dropped the song and then we're dropping an album. Yeah, we're well, dropping an album in, 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 in a week. Uh, yeah, for us, it was, it was very cool. We thought about it and we realized, listen, we have a the, the wedding, the honeymoon, and then what? Yes. Let's drop an album. Yes. That way we can <laughs> still work together. together. Has this been done? No, I, like a husband, wife, newlywed. I have no album? idea. I, I don't, don't know. This this feels pretty significant. Maybe Mark Anthony and J Lo, but I don't know if they release an album. An I know that they released yeah. a song. Twelve like songs. Like a like a touring couple. That's that's that feels fresh. Cool. I think Gracie did. Yo, what I was about to tell you when you when you said, "Hey, Lele, look, uh, stunning, walking down the aisle with a dress." When I was about to choose my suit, I was like, what am I going to do? I know that she's going to come with fireworks yeah. on the ear. <laughs> you got to step <laughs> up. Yeah, you got to step up. It's, it's so a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure, of course. You guys are probably competing with each other all the time. Oh, all the time. She's the most competitive person that I ever know. Is it annoying? I get it from him. No, yeah, right. I get it from yeah, you too? Right. Yeah. You, I'm yes. not you don't know how to lose? No, I'm you, good at losing, actually. Don't you remember? <laughs> no, but don't you, re don't you remember, like, you had, like, in 1600 vine mm. you had a board of what you wanted to do and all these goals that you did do because yeah. i remember i was like i took a picture in my mind of it everything you did so for you to be like that you have to have that set the, that mindset you have to have that you have competitive to. fire in you yeah 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 except that when you take so many l's in a row you stop caring which <laughs> <laughs> no you haven't no you haven't no you know no, you I haven't. two l's make a w lele yeah i have two l's <laughs> in my name so i'm good lele <laughs> yeah I exactly do. me too logan Oh, yeah. look at that. hundred percent. Dude, you didn't make it to your after parties. I went to live last night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're, oh, but it wasn't like at 1.30, right? Oh, I was just... How was might it? Might have been three. <laughs> your, your wilder guests were there. Oh, my God, they were. Oh, I love yeah. it. I, I love, was, I I was going to walk in, and I saw Miss Stocking coming back up the stairs. <laughs> we had a... With Steve Aoki. Yeah, with right? Steve Aoki, yeah. And uh, I think Anwar was still stumbling around at that point. Anwar was there, yeah. I, the, listen, the last remaining soldier always guaranteed the only person i see after like 7 a.m is sammy shahidi oh sammy's a warrior <laughs> and by the way sammy, sammy looks as good at seven as he does at midnight like I he's know. still fresh he's he's always smiling it's the truth it's the truth so they so he they were all out i saw them but i, I didn't see you guys did you guys head home sit by the fireplace yeah, we were, hot we were cocoa really, we were really tired we were so tired did we, you drink no and you don't drink right no no, he doesn't no, drink. No, 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 I don't drink. Ever. No. Sober. He's sober. He's, yeah, no. no I, I drank like maybe three years ago. And there's a lot of responsibilities for me. You know, if I wake up at 1 p.m., there's like three of the four decisions that have already been taken and one meeting and I, and I was out of it. So yeah. I don't drink because he doesn't drink. I mean, I drink sometimes, but I, I don't drink that. Like I mean, I, I like to. what she drinks, right? <laughs> he does like cause I get horny. He loves he loves when I drink because I get horny and then he's what? just like no. I was saying this. No, he does. He was like, Can you please? And I was like, oh. hey, you I was like drink? okay. <laughs> Are you guys more in love in Spanish or English? We we oh we I feel like we fight in Spanish. You, in English. Uh, that's so I, I learn fight, English really quick. Fight in English, you fight in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, no, both. both. Because Kevin, Kevin, my videographer right there. He, uh, he met a nice Puerto Rican girl. Really? But, yeah, but I noticed they're only in love in Spanish. Oh. It, when, when they talk in English, they, from, there's no chemistry. From what part of Puerto Rico? <laughs> ¿De qué parte de Puerto Rico? ¿De dónde? De Rincón. Rincón es bello. You've never been to Rincón before? I, I, uh, I have Well, not. that's the west side. The, one of the most beautiful songs in the island. Yeah. I've been to, been to El Yunque, obviously. Yeah. El yeah. Yunque, of course. You've been yeah. everywhere. 
Wow. We've been there. We never visited you. You guys Logan, should come by the Logan, house. Logan, Logan is he's living his best life. <laughs> he's like, very anti-social. I know, but I understand that. I mean, he's I not anti. I why do you keep? Why do you keep saying that? You're, you're not, not, bro. You're, you're not, not anti-social. anti-social. You're the most social. Somebody person. just implanted this in the past week. You should have. You should have seen me last night, guys. Because yeah, you choose to be anti-social. Yeah. Because you look can't how many people were anti-social. there. It was like it's like a festival of like everybody from the was. past. I was just shutting down. You know, I will. I will say this <clears throat> in his defense. In certain circumstances, he is. He never really liked like social events and outings. Yes. I, I wouldn't say anti-social is the word. I, I would say. You're social when there's purpose. I don't think you're like purposely, so purposelessly well said. social. You, like know, to you, just know, stand you know what it is? You're, you're hundred percent right. If I, uh, it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to fake interest, you know? Yes. And, and, and at that, an event like that, it's a lot of small talk, yes. you know? And especially with people you haven't seen in so oh. long, yeah. it was just heavy. It was really heavy and I could do it for like three hours and then hour four or five, I started to just internally close. Well, cause it's, it's a lot of it's, people it's, no, and not, I, not I did an Irish like, goodbye. Was, everybody, like, everybody, everybody like that I, that I, when I woke up, it was like, what, like, how, like, how did all these people come together? And then I was like, well, p- something that people don't know is that Gwena has his life and why I have my, my, my life. I had 10 years of career, so I know the Viners, mm. I know the YouTubers, mm. I know the singers, I know the model, you know what I mean? Like, so it's something like, I brought all my friends together. Which Paris is, Hilton was there. Yeah, but Paris we, Hilton we was know, a bridesmaid. We know Paris Hilton since, I mean, since I do forever, you know? But I don't post about it all the time, but it's because uh, with me, like when, when me and you go together to lunch or when I went to yeah, Puerto Rico, yeah. we don't post that stuff, yeah. you know? And I think that that's the beauty of it because there were so many different By layers the way, of people there. What happened that night that you went to, the, the, you wanna, the, <laughs> oh my God, Logan! What happened? Logan, I accident. Okay, so let She's me. Explain. Okay, remember that night that we went to this guy's house, the the guy's house that we were in Puerto Rico. Yeah, and we went to that guy's house. That he was like super nice, right? We had we had dinner. Yes, we had dinner. We, had and we went a, to another guy's house. Okay, who, he was rich. I, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so he was like giving out the brownies for like you know the like the weed brownies. Yeah. And then he, he 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 like put he was like those are not uh, weed ones and those are 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 weed ones and obviously I'm like I didn't think anything I was like okay I don't do weed right so literally I was like I was like which one was it oh whatever okay I'll take this one you know I'm like it will have to be that oh, one right no. and he told me like this one's this and this one's oh, this no. so when I was with you and with you with you I was so happy blah, blah, blah. and the minute you left I was like bye Logan I love you the minute literally like the minute you left I was like bye Logan. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Logan, I, I, you left me exactly in that moment. I was two hours there. I didn't know how to go. Like, Hi? Yeah, like, and like, yeah, like, remember when we said bye in, yeah. the, in the, like, I was like, <laughs> wait hold on hold on you got high and ha- were I got d- high. interacting with strangers and you weren't I got high by mistake yeah, I don't I don't that's I tough either. yeah no, that's really a brownie because I really love chocolate I really love chocolate but I got high and I you know oh, me I, no. I said I was like I don't really want to right so you let like when you left me, I was walking. I was so close to entering. Oh no, Lily, I'm good at leaving. If you haven't noticed, yeah, you I let, am good at leaving. If you would have just, if you would have just turned around, you would have, you would have seen me looking up in the sky. Like going she called me and face like, baby, I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, was, I was laughing. I was like, go eat, go eat something. It's gonna I, go. I'm scared. <laughs> no edible if you if you no 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 for some reason if edibles hit you incorrectly, yes, it can be dark. Horrible. There's so and with strangers strong. around strangers, people you don't know, Ooh. and if you don't expect to get high, <laughs> no, Lele, you're doomed. Absolutely. Imagine doomed. Lele Pons high without doing anything with, without Crying. energy. That's it's sure. not possible. Crying. What does that look like? Do you, do you get talkative or do you get like? I guess of- I was like. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to a lot of people in Amsterdam. It's like a big problem there. They they have these things called uh, what are they called? Space cakes or something like that, and and they advise tourists not to take them. Because they're very like edibles are way stronger than just smoking puts them in weed. Slow motion. Yeah, yeah. And I don't smoke. I don't do. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I don't. I so what? So what do you guys do in Miami? Because you're definitely not even creating as much content no, as no, you no, used no. to. No, I think what we do is music. Spend time with. I mean, we've had such a like we have a, 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 like a, a long career like in in in, in LA. You know, we, every day, every day, every day, posting every day. I still do like skits. I still um, the thing is what I'm doing right now is mostly like I want to do music. I want to start directing stuff like for real, you know, like, let me ask you, why do you think you have so many followers? You have so many followers. You have like 51.4 million just on Instagram. I, I, 
<laughs> the scandals. No, no, no. There's no, there's no, there's no uh, I mean, there's a few scandals. No, but I think, I think, I think the reason is because I'm, I barely really talk. It's more physical, and when it's physical, um, it's in universal. People that don't have to speak the language that I speak to understand what my content is. So I think it just gets to more people. That's my problem. I'm running my mouth too much. I, I swear to God, that's yeah, why. Yeah, you saw the guy that that went viral on TikTok. What's the, what's the name of the guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, oh, Cabby. Cabby Lane. Yes, yes. Cabby Lane. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Don't just speak. just he like Cabby. He doesn't mm -hmm. speak, but everybody can Hundreds understand. because millions of followers. He's the most expression. followed, right, on TikTok? Yeah, I think he is. He's number yeah. one. I think he is. I, I, also, I also think with you, too, um, and, and, and this isn't to discount or distract, or detract anything from what you've done and, and, and the work you've put in, but you, you hit at such a perfect time for the Latin culture. I mean, I mean, the Latin culture has been, especially you know, eight to ten years ago, started really exploding. And I think anytime you can take advantage of a niche, especially a niche that is a nationality or or a you know a, a birthplace, it it really activates that community. I mean, what percentage of your audience is is Latina? I'm gonna say like. 15% is is uh, American, USA. Only 15. Oh, only 15. 10% wow. yeah. wow. is, is uh, Mexican, um, Colombian. India, Brazil is big. Yeah. Brazil is like 8%. Turkey. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, India is and Turkey. Turkey. Oh, so Turkey. it's global, but I just it's feel, like, global, you, I feel yeah. like you very much like started to really represent, at least on social media, like kind of like what JLo did for music. A like long time really ago. I, I remember a long time ago, it was just like, I mean, we would do skits all the time about that. Times. All the time. All right. When I, I was 18 and we would do skits right. like that about Latinas. And so, like, it's the truth. I was like a long time ago. What days do you wake up and you're like, I think instead of making music today, I'm going to like bounce my boobs. Like, you know that skit you do where you make your <laughs> boobs like pop way up in the air? Like, how do you decide what days you're going to like do that now? I just, <laughs> I decide when I'm just like... <laughs> What a shit question. What an asshole. No, when I I see it all no, the time. When I when I when I, I, I all the time. when I'm lazy, I'm just like Okay. <laughs> you you've done a lot of those lately. A lot of yeah, I'm just yeah. as I'm you just should. Like, I like watching <laughs> Hannah try to do it after and just can't. Or Paris. Yeah. yeah, tries yeah. To. yeah. You like it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> Dude, you you proposed to her. At Tomorrowland, in yes. front of in front of how many people? Ten thousand, twenty, mm, fifty thousand, like eighty thousand oh people. Eighty thousand, like four million on stream. <laughs> That's so many people. I was like, well, what if she say no? What if I said no, Logan? Would you have done that, or would it? Would you have said yes and then no later? Because that happens too sometimes. No, uh, I no no no. I <laughs> thank God no. Thank God I loved him. I, like I would I would say someone's name that I did not love. Remember that one? Remember, no, that like. Let's, Oh yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah. If he proposed to me in tomorrow, I would have said no. But why not? My God, I would say yes to him, even if it was right here. With had had you talked about it? I mean, with we, her? we talked yeah. about it like a couple, like before, like you know, like months before. We like, hey, sh I like you're the one that I want to get married to. Like, right? We've been talking about it like that. Yeah. Well, funny, funny fact. I went to Los Angeles, you to Anwar store. To get the ring and everything. Oh, nice. oh I didn't know that. Uh, oh, let me see. Yeah, that. Let's talk about that. Oh that my rock. god! Yo, hold on a second. This, <laughs> this is nice. This it's, is nice. It's a big rock. I know rocks. <laughs> like the crack. Like the crack. That's true. This is beautiful. Thank it's you. a beautiful rock. What uh? <laughs> you want to smoke it, Mike? Look at him frothing. What uh? How many how many grams of carrots is that? <laughs> I, think, I, think four, I don't know. ¿Cuánto era? It was like four point four, four point <laughs> five. Man. Hey, 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 hey. How, how much? How much that run you? It's like a hundred thousand dollars. You got any? You got any advice on ring selection? Just in case. <laughs> yes. Somebody on this show. You know, with, with, these guys are both in committed relationships. There's a chance, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if if you want me to tell them something, so yeah. advice. Well, um, I think that you first started to talk about rocks because every single woman have a different preference yeah, totally. from, from the cuts. And then it's very important. Every single case is, is very individual. You know, if I would do that and I were proposing a doctor, maybe she fell off. You get her a heart shaped diamond. Yes. She's <laughs> you get she her died by a heart attack at that moment. A spleen. But it was the most... <laughs> She was, it was the most special moment for a content creator in the middle of Tomorrowland. I mean, like, as a me, like, it was the most important moment of my yeah, life. Yeah, because you have the plan is after you have the rock, 
you have a planned situation to make it special. So mm. every single woman. So it has like, yeah, so it has he was, like, he, it says he, like, he was, like and subscribe. Yeah, he, no, no, he was like, for <laughs> Lele, he was like, for Lele, what would be the most a beautiful, um, like, um, way to propose to her? The most this, special, yes. the most special And for way. this woman, what would be the most special? Because it, depending on the woman, if the woman is very, you know, like intimate. Would Shy, be, the woman likes the water, the woman likes the fly, the woman likes, I don't know. So, so uh, okay. I feel like as a content creator, was there a part of you that didn't want to make a moment that intimate, that public? Um, it was scary. I'm going to be honest with you. I, it, I, I thought it was beautiful, but at the same time, I was just like, I blocked out. I, bl I blacked out. Mm. I, I blocked it out. No, I blacked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, like five seconds like this. And I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Oh, yeah, you froze. I, was, <laughs> I, I, didn't, I, I froze. I froze because there was, uh, I, I wasn't expecting it. There was, it, was, it was a lot. It was a lot uh, for me in yeah. that moment because there was people screaming and there was like, oh my God, is this really happening? Like, I, I love him so much. Like, like, and then I, 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 I bro, yeah, look at me right now. Like, yeah, for a moment I was just like, wow, I, um, I, I guess. <laughs> I would love to marry you, but then I was like, "Oh my god, the whole internet's gonna see this." Bro. But but it was yeah, it was yeah, yeah. my ass was out. <laughs> it, uh, it was very beautiful. The fact that a lot of people, even without knowing us, because because there's a culture clash. You know, there's people for every single country in the yeah, world yeah. going to the Moroland. Koreans, people from Turkey, from China, from Russia, they were like, oh, you were the guys that got engaged oh, on cool. stage. Oh, cool. That was yeah. so pretty. We love you so much. And I was like, yeah, I do music. This is my car. <laughs> <laughs> He's plugging his songs. No, it's good. Always plug. I love watching people get married live. I, we were at the World Cup and we saw a couple propose in front of us. And, and I, I was standing up cheering. Like, I, it's, I love that. What was that, your favorite team? Union of people at the World Cup. Yeah. I, ha I had to say Argentina. Okay. To just, just because I, I support, I support Messi's Messi. quest to Me become too. the Me too. I, I support <laughs> winners. I have, to. I have to. I support losers too. You know, got one, got one in my family now. Oh my! Yeah, God. yeah. Did you guys watch that last Jake Paul fight? Yeah, he lost. I know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was close. But it was, it was a close fight. Close I think you know, he deserves a revenge. But he's done great. What do you like? You know, you win and you lose. Oh yeah! Right? Oh, absolutely, he's done great. Yeah, no, we've all, we've all come a long ass way. Would you ever get in the ring? I can't. You were, you were kicking ass. Did you not see me hitting that penis pinata? I didn't actually. I missed that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Go to go to my my last post. You can see me. Hitting I'd rather the, not. Okay. <laughs> and then he goes. He's like, "Don't worry, baby. I I have here your Puerto Rican penis pinata." Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Hopefully, it doesn't explode and candy falls out of it. If you know what I mean, right? Hey, I heard the officiator, the person who actually wed you guys. Yeah. I heard that he didn't know Spanish that well. He was like Juan Carlos. I was like, "Well, you're marrying another person." Yeah, I'm yeah. John he didn't, he didn't John even say Carlos. your name right. I, I saw you laugh at him. He didn't. Who was the guy? Because because no. he was re, he'd go from English to Spanish. No, because we were, we were, we tried to get someone. Um, Bilingual. That, yes, that that spoke both, and we and we got that, and he said, "Oh, we I, I've done many weddings." Oh, like he lied. Huh? He lied to oh, us. No, he didn't know Spanish. Because we, we were not gonna do practice with no, him. He what if he was bi us. bilingual, like English Cambodian? No, no, no. He no just, I, you know what I'm saying? Like he just said, "Yeah, I'm bilingual." You guys made the assumption. I told him. I literally told him, I was like, are we going to do the vows? And then, and then like when he was like, and now you may kiss the bride. And I was like, wait, what about the vows? And he was like, do it, do it, do it. And I, oh, I, no way. I think that's why we did the vows during the reception. Cause oh. he didn't let us do the vows. He was a rookie. Wampa said the, the loose translation was, do you be with person for a long time? <laughs> <laughs> He, he said, he, he said, he goes, you, you guys don't know Spanish, but this guy has no idea what, how to read Spanish. <laughs> and listening, I, I, I know he, I, I felt bad. He, he was really trying really hard to, to, I mean, I went to a wedding like that. It's kind of similar, but like, honestly, he, he really was, was struggling. He was struggling with his Spanish. He was doing good in English, but he was struggling with his Spanish. Is there a reason you didn't have drinks at the reception at first? No, but why? Everybody's going to like, you know, pass out. That would have been Sorry, me. sorry. Yeah. Can I, sorry. Well, Sorry, what did you just say? It was a dry. Uh -uh. Just at the reception, just at the wedding part. Like, just with, when. The oh, cocktail. Yeah. The cocktail hour, you mean? No, before that. Before that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's that's fine. Yeah, no, yeah be that's before fine. the ceremony, yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't that want that sense. because people were, I, I didn't want to be, objection or something stupid. Oh, know. were you worried? Were you worried? No, no, that but Wampo like, but it, no. Imagine, no. <laughs> no. dude. No. Wampo, Wampo, no, no. No. <laughs> No, bro. Wait, no, not that. But uh, I, um, it was just, it was just a lot. Oh my god, it was just a lot. Like my dog coming. Is I did see it? the dog. Is that that one right there. Yeah. Did you see? Yeah. Did you see him getting us? Can you get him on the? 
Does is he bilingual? <laughs> yes, mira. Toto, ven. Ven acá. Ven acá. Ven acá. Ven acá. Ven acá. Ven. Oh. And then he sat down. George kind of looks like your dog. What kind of dog is this? Benaka? Labradoodle? No. It's a Japanese red toy poodle. Oh. oh. He speaks <coughs> Spanish a lot. The dog, um, speak, dog speaks Spanish. Grab him, grab him. Oh. Grab him. He likes me more. I know. I'm sorry no, to break no. your guys' Honestly, heart. like he couldn't stay. Like yesterday oh. was intense. Like, oh, Anwar had the, re the rings and he didn't know where he put it. I heard he lost them. I heard he lost the rings. It was a reception like it was, as if it was a vine. Like... I was surprised you didn't do anything crazy. All of us were a little unsure. You got a little fired up at one part. You repeated something a couple of times. I think it was like, I'll be with you forever and ever and ever. And oh, ever. yes, because the guy in Spanish was repeating the word. Because he, he was having a good time. He, he, it, the moment he could latch onto a joke to detract from the fact that he had no idea what he was saying, <laughs> he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Talk man. about alligators in the pond. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't do anything crazy. <laughs> Did you see? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm surprised. No, that moment was very special, but I didn't do anything, but other people did do stuff. Like Toby with me and the rings with Anwar and the guy not speaking Spanish correctly. When will we see this on Amazon? Oh, like next year. No, I don't know. Oh, like why couple, next year? No, wait, in a couple, couple months, months. In a couple yeah. months. In a couple months. Yeah. People are going to be like, what the fuck? Oh, you'll be able to see the whole wedding? Yes. Via yeah. Amazon? Yeah. Wow, that must have been so cool to be at. <laughs> I, so I am I feel for you guys because <laughs> when I don't invite people to my wedding, I know I'm also going to get like, like they're going to be like, where was my invite? And I'm I, just going to have No, but they'll, exact hopefully look they'll be face. joking. Like, people should know without getting or not getting an invite whether or not they should be invited to someone's fucking wedding, dude. Like, you're not just, it's not like you're just inviting <laughs> every person under the sun to come watch you get married. Yeah, and the thing is that venue is just except like 300 people. Oh, and, and people we, people got in. Our initial list was like 600 or 500 so far. Oh, so you had to cut it down? At the half. Yeah. Oh my God. Also, maybe I was Have on the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah most so, of the family members like get, got had, caught yeah, she's got like mom caught. listen unfortunately <laughs> logan's coming yeah. and he's got a plus one now and this is for amazon it's gonna and go on instagram we want to trend on twitter mom sorry Lo <laughs> logan oh have a plus five and i have to quit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna i was gonna ask to to do this podcast at the wedding but oh, I, yeah, yeah. I was advised that was inappropriate yeah and then, and then when we were texting, you said, "Are you interviewing me and Guina?" I was like, "Yeah, because yeah. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny told me," and I was just like, "Yes, oh. yes." Johnny called me. Yeah, Johnny's and Johnny's the best. Johnny called me, and I was like, "I would love to do an interview with you," but the thing is, like in the wedding, I I can't promise you anything because no, maybe things will change, and I don't want to like, you know. I wasn't even sure if, if you were going to come today. I'm serious. I'm so I'm so thankful. But but the real question is, when are we having babies? Oh, oh no! That's the, first, oh, no. that's the first time that they they so someone asked us of that. Yeah, oh. right. Um, no way. <laughs> I think I think we need to travel more. We need to get to know each other more, and then have a baby. No, it's a big responsibility. My yeah, God. we're thinking about like dog. four, four years, that's three, four, or five years. Oh, y'all, y'all are patient, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because you know what? I mean, well, how do you? pretty. Lele's pretty. I'm thirty. Okay, and you're what? Lele, what? Twenty six. Yeah. Thank you. I'm 27. Okay, let's say. I'll be yeah, but I'm 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 ready. I could I could do a baby. You can do a baby. You're ready. So. I think so. You have to be yeah. mentally prepared. I'm not. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. No. Enjoy your youth, guys. But I, yeah. we're obviously all excited for the. For yeah. The thing is that we Pons, have a baby. we have we have a <laughs> lot of things to do in the personal, in 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 a personal conversation and and in the and in their professional one too. So for us to be parents, it it have it, it would love to be a moment. That we really have a time to 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 raise a kid, to mm. raise a kid, mm. Mm. you know, to bring it to school, to take your time. Let's we want to be there. Hey, for listen, them. we don't want to do an album. We don't want to do a show. We can wait. Let's go to it's the theater. To so it. The yes. five first years of a baby are very important. You have to be present, and we right now can't. Mm. See, I would have thought the opposite. I would have thought that the first five years of a baby's life, you can kind of just let them do their mm -hmm. thing. I, what are they going to remember? They're going to remember anything. So fucking Yes, yeah, so that's where, where, when they, where they develop they personality. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it just, it was a My dad didn't talk to me. Yeah, I was not <laughs> yeah. Four years old. <laughs> no, but like a three-year-old's not going to remember No, but they, 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 they no? tried to responsibly the rehome me. <laughs> <The baby>. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> 
<laughs> the baby was irresponsibly The baby re-owned. was responsibly <laughs> re-owned. Oh, my God. We found Logan Paul's baby <laughs> <laughs> wandering through a local rancher's backyard <laughs> with half an ear. Oh, no. What? I thought I knew the guys. They seemed great. <laughs> Where the fuck, dude? That baby slept in such a great pen. Why did so you get rid of your baby? I'm antisocial. I didn't want to hang out with him. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I'm, it's, an I'm, I'm, it's an inside joke. It's an inside joke. I know, so, well, I know. It's a big one. Really, yeah. <laughs> it was on every tabloid. It's an inside joke. No, no. <laughs> the pig. I swear to yeah, the fucking pig. I gave the pig away, and then that person to a nice home, and then that person rehomed the pig to a person who apparently wasn't capable of taking care of it. Is he even alive? I think he's. If you- well, you've activated him, George. <laughs> might, be, might not be the worst time for it. Toby, Toby, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Toby, stop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ja, ja, Toby, yeah. Ja. Is his name Toby? Toby, yeah, just Toby. calm him down. No, wait, but the pig. Yeah, Toby, come okay. the fuck I don't, don't want to talk about it. So, <laughs> yeah, so I don't pig. know the story. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> so what do you guys think for the honeymoon? Yeah, what's going on? Tuesday. To Dubai. When? Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> uh, Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, Tuesday. You, you said you wanted Tuesday. Well, I'm glad we got to squeeze this in, guys. You guys seem like a really healthy, stable, solid couple. I'm rooting for you. Guana, it was a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is mine, man. No, this is so good. You guys did not you guys did not have to do this the day after your wedding. I'm seriously, I'm very honored. Um, guys, if they have songs, listen to them. Go to see them on tour. Stream their album. All the things. Follow Lele Pons on Twitter. Uh, just kidding. You already do. Guana, Instagram. Yeah, um, G U Y N W A Y N. Easy, easy. Um, oh, like this. What's oh that? my god, it's the freaking Chinese hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Of course. What's that? What's that? Get it out of here. Get the drone out of here. God. Give us all the meat. There's a nuclear facility. What? What is that? That's not good. All right. Stop yeah. it. Stop the Not, fucking Chinese yep. drone. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, fuck. What does it say? What does it say? Jeff FM number one? Yes. Oh, I, I don't. Have you, look at my dog. Oh, wow. That was propaganda. I was not expecting that. Was propaganda. That. It, was a, it was a Chinese Jeff <laughs> FM sponsor. It was guerrilla marketing propaganda. That was fucked up. Oh my God. Wow. I'm going to invoice you, Jeff. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you. We love you. We'll Thank you for time. having us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're Thank you guys. Take it easy. Peace.